Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Trapping with Jinx. Today, we're going to do some more preseason type stuff. It's one of my preseason videos. It is uh, almost October now. It's really getting close. Uh, if you guys are new to trapping especially, this is probably a good video for you. Today, I'll show you how I prep brand new traps in this video. So, I've got some brand new traps. I've already taken those to the car wash. I'm going to um, start the rusting process. And then I'll show you uh, what I'm going to do with the dip. And then just kind of what I've been working on. And that's just kind of a vlogging preseason. I don't have any catches for you guys. But uh, I just thought I'd show you guys what I've been up to. And that's what this... Okay, if you watched the last episode, I showed you guys how to... Uh, how I do my peat moss. Um... I, I like to get the peat moss early. I went through eight bales of peat moss last year. Um, you know, go back, watch that episode if you want, and just show you how I break down my bags. I can dry a lot of my peat moss really well during the summer months, these when it's still hot. Um, Cause when I buy my bales in the December portion and I try to dry those down in my basement, they just don't come out really dry but uh that's usually the best time of year to do it for me because they come out bone dry and you can see my floor and the soot <laughs> just by um doing those um those four bales uh it's it makes a huge mess on my my floor that's the last of my dry dirt um you know drying that out I, that should get me through the rest of the season all of these all these right here is dry dirt. I've already got about, you know, probably at least uh, 20 more gallons uh, left over from last year. And these right here uh, is gonna be my wax dirt. So if you guys like wax dirt videos, maybe I'll kick out a wax dirt video. But I'll show you um, real quick how I, how I came out. So I came out pretty good. Um, I had to buy these totes but this is all that's peat moss and i've got a, another bale of peat moss so i've got another stack that's all peat moss and um i'll go through all of that uh, i'm gonna use speed dip in this video uh but i'm gonna show you guys how i do the the trapping on it there's my speed dip you can get that at your trapper supply company if you want um another thing every year i have to do this all right so here's what a regular pogo driver looks like that one's brand new here's what my pogo driver looks like at the end of the year so uh the winter time takes a toll on these and just the vibration of me pounding on that so I have a guy that he welds for me every year. He'll put like a bar on the side of that. You can see that. And that does a pretty good job of reinforcing that. Um, and I pay him every year like 40 bucks to work on my drivers. So I had to go through one driver last year. Um, I replaced that three drivers just to get through the season. It's pretty wild. I'm working on that. Uh, my four-wheeler, I just sent off my four-wheeler. It's getting serviced. Uh, gosh, there's a lot that goes into this trapping season, isn't there? So, uh, without further ado, let's get to those traps. All right, so I think I got like five dozen of these to do. But I, as soon as they come straight out of the box, uh, what you want to do is you take these, your traps. They have all that oil and grease on them. You can see it comes, still comes off on your hands. I always take these down to the car wash, hose them off really good in the car wash, um, and then I throw them back in. Uh, now, after that, the dye that I'm using, the Speed Dip dye, it won't stick to that bare metal. So I like to rust my traps, just a little bit of surface rust, and then usually I take a scraper and just kind of scrape off the surface rust, and then that'll start the dipping process, or the dyeing process. So I'm gonna just show you briefly how I speed that up and uh, get them all lined out here. It takes about a week on this process, not quite a week. I'm using a salt water base uh, with my water on a spray bottle and that kind of helps speed them up just a little bit. 
and uh, I'll show you how, how that kind of works. All right, I got them all lined out, and I just I put a, a salt in with my water bottle. Now, one thing I will say is that this will kill the grass. So if you have a place that you're spraying them on, uh, keep that in mind because salt water is going to kill the grass. I just want to give you kind of a pre-warning there. And uh, I'm just going to keep that wet. I'm doing this in the morning now. I'll come back. I'll do it again in the evening. And the salt water will actually s speed up the rusting process. Um, I was able to get quite a bit of the of the uh, of the grease off of the traps from the manufacturer. I wasn't able to get it all. Of course, you're going to find that out too. But um, this will this will dramatically speed up the process. So there you go. I've just got them all nice and laid out, and uh, they're wet with salt water mix. And uh, this video is really a lot for you newer guys. I don't know if you guys like this content or not, but hey, one thing I didn't mention, um, if it's like a week before the season, this is all the stuff that I do on my season. I, I guess you would call me maybe a long liner. Uh, my, my trapping starts in December. I mean, hardcore December, January, February. I'm trapping at least three months. Um, I'll start in early part of November, you know, I'm, so, you know, you guys get kind of an idea and think, well, you know, you know, you have to kind of just do everything in proportion to what you're, you want to do. Um, if for some reason the dirt, uh, you don't store up dirt, uh, you can always get that underneath uh, bridges. I like to get a lot of my dry dirt when I run out underneath bridges, uh, underneath those concrete ones. Um, I don't like to get dry dirt under barns and stuff because the odor uh i usually you know when the ground's froze solid i can always find some good dry dirt underneath the, the bridges i sift it out um another thing is peat moss if for some reason you don't have to use peat moss uh it comes in those bales wet um if you're if you're getting this video in december or january you're gonna have to dry that if that makes sense somehow i like to sift mine um but you don't have to use peat moss but I'm giving you guys some good options of what I'm doing. I'm preparing for my season, which is why I'm showing you this. So I will water these down again tonight, uh, twice a day. I'll flip them tomorrow. I'll, I'll get the backside. And it usually it only takes about four days or so. So I'll show you that process. And then I think we'll do the dyeing of the traps in here. I still have trap tags left to do on all my stuff. I have all my anchors left to do. Usually October, I try to reserve for scouting. So I still have a lot of work to do, guys. Okay, so after about two or three days on those, I watered those this morning, of course. But you can see, you get this nice little surface rust on the top of that. The back isn't looking too bad. I kind of just started on it last day or so. Usually I give that another day, but I'm going to go ahead and scrape these down today and then I'm going to start the wax or the dyeing process and I'll show you guys how I do that. Okay, so I got my wire brush. I just got the surface uh, rust left. This is usually about how I like them, just kind of a little bit uh, brown, light brown. The back side, I didn't do it as well, but um, that's usually about how I like them. Um, just a nice little even uh, coat of rust over the top um, and just to where they just start to break down if that makes sense that way the the dye will have something to grab onto if that makes sense okay next process okay guys so i got all the traps uh put together bundled up this project will probably take me about an hour hour and a half total for about uh four dozen traps um I'm going to use the quart size speed dip black. I've been using that for years. It either takes a gasoline base or in this case I'm going to use uh, Coleman camp fuel. Uh, this is usually what I usually use. They say the higher the octane the better on this product. I've used uh, the premium super unleaded. It comes out okay. But I always just kind of use this uh, gallon size camp fuel. So if you don't want to go to the trouble to buy this 
uh, just whatever you put a gallon of your lawnmower gas or your premium gas will be fine I'm gonna need it comes with these little containers on the top so you're gonna need a pair of uh, good uh, fencing pliers to get that off uh, you want to one thing I will say about this product is that uh, two things um, I I've been using this speed dip for about 20 years um, it's probably not my favorite uh, the only thing about it about it it's got that gasoline base um, so you have to air out your stuff quite a while for your your predator stuff um, I'm just a little lazy to do the logwood if that makes sense so you want to make sure it's in a nice uh, uh, ventilated area when you get done I'm gonna store this in a gallon size antifreeze container and then I always uh, put that in a lid on the top because I'm gonna do some more later on or even as the winter months go if I've got like a skunky trap or something I could dip that later on and it'll cut that's a good thing about this 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 product is that gasoline will cut any odors off of it so um, it that does kind of is a nice benefit usually though I will say before the trapping season starts before I want to set a bunch of traps I will air out my traps a good week or so um, to kind of help air out that so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get that going for you I'm just gonna mix the one quart with the one gallon of the Coleman fuel and you should easily be able to do uh, I would say at least three four hundred traps with one gallon you could get a lot done I usually do a lot of my cages uh, it's a pretty good process so here we go So I was able to get these uh, 650s in about a batch of three. So it's about all that my bucket will carry. But it goes on real thin. If you've never done this before, it's, it's pretty easy. That's kind of the nice thing about the speed dip option. Is it's so quick and, and easy. I just don't like that gasoline base. It's never been one of my favorites. So there's one. that's how they come out it literally guys literally didn't take me five minutes to throw that in that that dip and you just to air them out like that and uh i got a paint uh a paintbrush and just kind of dip over some of the spots i might have missed other otherwise it goes on really easy that's kind of the nicest thing about speed dip is number one uh it's a double-edged sword on the gasoline base because it you got that odor still on there it's supposed to evaporate you know in time uh, but at the same time it'll also cut any uh, bad odors you got on there like skunk blood anything that you don't want on your traps it does a good job for that so and it's so quick i mean like like i said this only took me five or ten minutes the whole project maybe an hour hour and a half um it's really easy to do so you'll have a nice uh, coat of black speed dip if you buy the black speed dip yeah it sticks really well once you once you uh put a little rust on it and that should last a good season or partial season i've got a bunch of my dog proofs left to do and then i do i think i will wa well, we'll wax these so um that'll be the end of the video i'm gonna take what i have left over and i'm gonna store that in that antifreeze container i'm um, using a a funnel of course and then that's going to go in my five gallon bucket with the lid and i could store that inside my house so it's that simple 
But um, hey, I hope you guys like this uh, this episode. Just dying some traps, doing some preseason type work. If you guys like these episodes and you guys watch them, I'll keep kicking them out. I've got a lot of work left to do. I've got anchors. I've got uh, wax, dirt. I've got to wax traps. Uh, and I've got to get to my land real soon because I've got a lot of ground in, in two or three different states. And uh, it's a lot of work, isn't it? So this is all last minute stuff. I hope you guys like this episode. Um, if you're brand new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. Otherwise, click the big thumbs up. I'm Jinx. And have a great day.